Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to set a custom order for related items in Jet Engine listing, both on the backend and frontend. So when is this useful? Imagine you're displaying a list of related items on a post, user or term page and you want to show specific items first or even only those specific items. Plus you require a different order for displaying items in different locations, but you can sort them the way you want by date, title or any metadata fields. That's where Jet Engine's relations come in. As of version 3.6, it offers a simple drag and drop feature to reorder related items directly in the backend, and you can reflect that custom order in your front end listing grid. In this video, I'll show you exactly how it's done. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future tutorials, and feel free to leave your questions or feedback in the comments. For this demonstration, I've created two custom post types, courses and lessons. Courses are displayed on the front end using the default block editor's single post template. This template pulls dynamic content like the course title, description and image from meta fields using dynamic field and dynamic image blocks. It also includes a listing grid that displays related lessons with each item built using its own set of dynamic blocks. Right now the lessons appear in the same order on every course page. My goal is to create many-to-many -many relations between all courses and lessons, manually order the related lessons for each course in the backend, and build a dynamic query that will reflect that custom order on the front-end listing grid. From the admin dashboard go to Jet Engine Relations and click Add New. Give your relation a name, set courses as the parent object and lessons as the child object. Choose many to many as the relation type, this allows each course to include and display multiple lessons and each lesson to be used across different courses if needed. Click add relation and now we can start assigning lessons to courses. Open any course post for editing. Since this post type is now the parent in relation, you'll see a section for connected lessons. Click the button to connect items and start adding all available lessons one by one. Once connected, you'll notice something cool. You can drag and drop the lessons to rearrange their order manually. This custom order is what we'll use to control the listing display on the front end. When you change the order of related lessons, a save order button will appear. Make sure to click it once you're done arranging. And don't forget to hit the save button to update the post. I'll fast forward through adding and rearranging lessons for the other two courses and move on to building the custom query. For this I'll go to Jet Engine Query Builder and click Add New. Here under General Settings give your query a name and set the query type to Post Query. Now scroll down to the Post Query section that appears below. First we'll define which post the query should retrieve. Go to Post and Page tab and locate the Post In field. Click the dynamic tags icon next to it and choose Related Items. Now let's configure the following options. Select the relation we created earlier. Set the post with which role we need to display, in our case we want to get child items. And finally choose current object ID as the source. This retrieves the ID of the currently viewed course post so we can fetch its related lessons. Now let's jump over to the general tab and tell Jet Engine where to get the ordering from. There's a drop down called order by, just set it to preserve post ID order given in the post in option. That works because we already arranged the related post in the backend and this setting will respect that post ID order. That's all we need here, hit add query and we're good to go check things on the front end. But before we leave the query builder, I want to quickly show you how this works if you're pulling related items that aren't posts, because it's a bit different. If you're working with related terms, you go to the include exclude tab, pick related items for the include field and then just select your relation and set up the from object and initial object ID fields. And for ordering, just choose match the order of the include parameter. For a user's query, you need the same related items set up in the include exclude tab, but for ordering, you'll find the settings under misc. Just pick by included list of user IDs as the order by option. Finally, if you're building a query for a custom content type, start by selecting the specific CCT you're targeting. Then inside the query section, click add new to create a condition. 
For the field, choose item ID. For compare, select in the field. Then in the value field, pick related items and go through the usual settings. Pick the relation, the object to pull from and set the source ID to current object ID. For sorting, head over to order and order by tab and choose preserve item ID order in the query arguments. Let's go back to one of our course's CPTs and edit the single post template responsible for its front end appearance because now it's time to activate our custom query inside the listing grid that displays lessons. Select the listing grid block and in the block settings switch on the use custom query toggle. Then just choose the query we created earlier and save the template. Now when we check out each course post on the front end, the list of lessons appears in the order optimized for that course, exactly the way we set it up in the back end, thanks to that simple drag and drop. We can also limit how many lessons show by tweaking the pagination settings in the query, which is handy if you want to highlight just the mandatory lessons and link to a full list separately. Hopefully I managed to show you how easy and powerful this feature is. Drop your questions or feedback in the comments and if you found this helpful hit like to support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See ya!